Welcome by the Drunken Barbecue. This week we're going to do lamb chops on a wood fire. We're going to make a mashed potato out of uh, potato chips. Yeah, you hear that right? Potato chips. I'm not on drugs or anything like that. It's going to be great. So as we're doing kind of a barbecue, we're going to use barbecue flavored crisps. I'll take you to the steps and uh, you'll see it's going to be awesome. But first let this fire go and then uh, once it's going, the party is on. Stay tuned. Well, the drunken barbecue would not be the drunken barbecue if we don't have a beer. And we would not make something while the fire is getting hot. Basically, took a, a stick, any kind of stick, wrap some uh, bread dough around it. If you want to know the recipe of bread dough, just go to your local supermarket and get a can of it. Why reinvent the wheel if it's done before? And if you fancy uh, some special snacks, go to one of my other videos, uh, Five Best uh, Campfire Snacks. You will see exactly how I did it. So for now, we're just sitting here, relaxing, keep the fire going. So we have enough centels to have the barbecue on. Because we are going to make lamb chops and we're going to do a mashed potato from uh, potato chips. <laughs> really guys, we're going to do it potato chips. I'm not on drugs. I'm not drunk. Just open the can. So stay tuned because it's coming. Well, there we go, guys. Like I said, we're going to make uh, mashed potato out of, uh, out of uh, potato crisps. Now you see, I'm not on drugs. It's true. So we're going to take a little pan, like this. Can, uh, well, out of the more we have here Lay's barbecue crisps. Well, we're doing a barbecue, might as well do barbecue crisps, right? And uh, we're just going to fill this pan with crisps and crush it all up. Just the finer it is the easier it will be for later on. And you will see why. There we go. Some nice fine potato crumbs. When we've got this, add some water. It's about a cup. And, and this we're all going to bring to the boil on the fire and then we just keep stirring and stirring until you get a nice snotty mash. There you go guys, you see, just keep mashing it and bring it to the boil. And once it's boiling, then uh, I will show you the, the third secret to make this a success. Oh yeah, it's getting soggy already, that's what we want. Well, if you question, I'm using a uh, real potato, Chris. There you go. This is how you normally eat them. Well, I do too. But today, we want to make a uh, potato mash out of it. Awesome. Uh, this, is, this is an advantage of making mashed potato out of crisp. Because, hey, whatever is left over, that's for the pit master. There we go, guys. Oh, you sucker, that's all. Don't sit in the direction of the wind, I guess. Here we go, guys. As you can tell, a nice sticky consistency. So it's about three ounces of uh, crisps, uh, a cup of water, and now the secret ingredient. Some cream. Oh, take it away from the fire. Some cream. And how much? Well, I don't really know. Just call it a dash. You just mix it all together until you get a nice creamy consistency. Because now basically you have your mashed potatoes. You add as normal the cream to it. 
The ones that's all mingled together. Boom! And there you have it. Mashed potato. Full potato chips. Well, is this rocket science? Or is it just awesome? Well, secret answer to that, or secret tip to that question. If it's rocket science, I would not be doing it. Good luck guys, you got to go for this. Well, there we go, fire has died down, so... Well, died down a bit, so we've got a nice bed of ash down there. That's what you want to barbecue, not too many flames. If you can, see if you can have a hot spot, and then a slope down to a cooler area. So when you do your meat, you want to sear it, you can do it right in the hot spot. When you think like, oh, I just need to cook it a bit more, go to the cooler area. Just like in the kitchen. The only thing is, here you can't regulate your, your heat. Down in the kitchen you can. So you just need to be a little bit inventive. Anyhow, we're gonna do the, uh, the pork chops. So where shall we start? A sip of beer, because the fire is warm, you're dehydrating. Pitmaster just had a message. Yeah, I feel my balls vibrating. Anyhow, pork chop. Of course you need to have a good piece of meat. And next to that, we have a piece of rosemary. Can't see that of course, but when I come closer you can. Rosemary. And that's dipped in oil, so we can use that as a brush. Man, Van Gogh is nothing with this. Easy peasy. So we have a nice chunk of meat, and we're gonna lay it on there. Oh, listen to that. You didn't hear that, guys. I did not have another message. So now, we're just going to brush a little bit of oil with our rosemary twig. Twine, or... don't know how you call it actually, but if you do, let me know. And now we're barbecuing. So now you just keep rotating it, so first you sear it. Don't be too shy and you just sear it well and then you turn it around. You sear the other side. The only thing we did with the meat to uh, prep it, we just put some salt and pepper on it. Lovely. And then we brush it with oil as well on this side. There we go. And that's all there is to it, till it's cooked. Well, there you have it guys. Didn't look great. We've got the lamb chop, we've got veggies. That needs to be healthy, right? We've got some roasted potatoes, and we've got the potato crisp mash. But, first things first, dehydration is around the corner. Yeah, there we go. Got to keep that going, right? Anyhow, while you're watching, I take a bite, and I'll tell you, first thing that comes to my mind, It's basically an orgasm of flavors. There you go. I'm not going to go into more details, but uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, please uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that like button so we we'll keep you updated. And in the meantime, keep on grilling while I'm eating. Well, if you always wanted to know uh, what uh, the video set of uh, the drunken barbecue was going to be like, well, this is it, guys. That's it. Nothing more and nothing less.
what you see is what you get. Really, the bonfire. Where is it? There it is. The grill. Some wood. Well, if I can do it, you can do it. So, get grilling. Well, that's it again for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and leave your comments below.